what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here soon we talk about halloween kills and the official or one of the official pieces of the score that came out earlier this week from john carpenter and his son cody carpenter i believe is his name and david howie i think is the other person's name but the track that came out was titled unkillable and i did touch on this a few weeks ago when i talked about the fact that that song leaked it was one of the only ones that i could managed to listen to and just like how i said it sounded amazing then now that i know that that was actually real uh officially com confirmed with this official release it's actually up for pre-order the whole soundtrack itself is up for pre-order i believe right now but the track unkillable it is done to perfection i mean i could see this playing at a very or during a very intense chase sequence between the shape maybe lindsey wallace or any of the characters that are in halloween kills this track unkillable the way it seems like it's just building and building and building and building with whatever emotions any character who is dealing with this chase that's i'm assuming going to be occurring while this is playing it's just building and building and building on emotion i can see this accompany accompanying a very high paced or very fast paced chasing that has you on the edge of your seat you're hold holding out and hoping that the character that's being stalked will make it out alive uh most likely they won't i would have to argue that i think this is going to be playing during lindsey wallace's kill only because and i say kill only because of the fact that you know again going off of the trailers everything they show it looks like lindsey wallace will not be making it out of this movie alive tommy doyle at this point seems like he'll have a better chance of making it out alive because of the fact that that there hasn't been anything in the teasers to suggest that he won't make it out alive in my opinion uh, do i think he'll make it out alive i I've, I've said before that i don't really think tommy will make it out alive but if we're going off of what the trailers have provided Lindsay's chances of survival look a little worse than tommy's tommy seems like he has a better chance just based off of the trailers and tv spots that have come out it looks like Lindsay has a better chance of dying than tommy but the track unkillable i really liked hearing it i liked how it sounded it definitely got me in the feeling of yes i am watching a halloween movie or i'm going to be watching a halloween movie um i think i'll be watching this what i hope will happen is during the month of october during the week of its release i'll watch scream on monday again in theaters for the first time and then chucky the day after and then Halloween Kills the day after that, like on the Wednesday before it comes out on Thursday night. Or I could see Halloween Kills and Chucky, the TV series, episode one in the same night. That's what I hope. So I have Scream on Monday, uh, October 11th, and then Halloween Kills and Chucky on October 12th. That's what I would like to see happen. But the other thing I wanted to talk about was regarding the whole unmasking of michael myers because we know in the trailer we've seen the shape will be unmasked and we've seen that there will be a moment where he is without his mask and james jude courtney has talked about this in some interviews recently or in the past and i just want to talk about how exactly will he become unmasked one whether or not this happens at many different instances in the film i don't know but one instance i could see this happening is during that whole house sequence where cameron and andy matichak's character i'm forgetting her name allison are in whatever house they're in i think it looks like the myers house i'm predicting that's the myers house they're in whatever house that they're in and when allison is at is down is downstairs yelling as the shape is trying to stab her to to just do it I think from that point, what happens is Karen comes from behind and just yanks the mask off or she does something to get Michael off balance and then she takes his mask away from him. And then that's when it leads to Michael eventually coming after them. And then there's that moment where she's standing there and just saying, you want you want your mask, come and get it, etc. Uh, I think that would be one of the many instances where he could be unmasked, if not the only instance because they could have instances where he's taking his mask on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off for whatever reason. I think that having him unmasked won't take away from the film as much so as it would if we're just seeing too much of his, not even seeing too much of his face. Because the thing that took it away in some of the previous entries like Halloween 5 
was just having him cry and specifically Halloween five. None of the other ones where he was unmasked was it really an issue. Uh him having him cry like that and just like what are you crying for? It it was just a very bizarre scene in Halloween five. It wasn't it wasn't um the the emotion they're trying to get get in that scene it's not done to perfection at all. It's not even done good at all. It's you're more so wondering why are you crying right now, Michael? What's wrong with you? <laughs> and then he snaps back into it and he puts his mask on. It's like okay, yeah, that scene was useless. They didn't have any tender moment there. There was nothing sweet about that moment. It was kind of underwhelming. And why is Michael Myers crying? But if you're just gonna have his mask off and the way he looks with his mask off, as we've seen in Halloween 2018. He can still be very terrifying like that with having no expression on his face. He's just an unstoppable killing machine. Going back to the title of that track that came out, Unkillable. So I would think that would be one instance where he gets his mask taken off. The other instance could be during a altercation with maybe Tommy Doyle who knocks his mask off with his baseball bat. If he manages to do that somehow, I know Michael Myers will undoubtedly not stop until he kills Tommy. Whether that be in Halloween Kills or Halloween Ends, I think that would be something that's going to be putting Tommy Doyle's character basically solidifying a death sentence at that point. If you hit Michael Myers so hard that his mask comes off, I can see Michael taking that some type of way and wanting to throw hands with you or deal with you in some fashion. That would, of course, result in your unfortunate death because you knocked his mask off and you basically disrespected that man <laughs> but that's all i have for this video as as it pertains to that track that came out and just wanted to share my quick thoughts on the unmasking of michael myers that we know will happen in halloween kills and how it could or could not happen you guys can talk about it down in the comment section below what instances in the film do you think will lead to michael myers being unmasked if you think there are multiple instances where this will happen or if there's one those of you who read the script in its entirety do what you got to do in the comment section if you don't want any spoilers i'm just going to say it in this video don't read the comment section if you're trying to avoid spoilers i'm sure people are going to just talk about how i was wrong and what happens because they read the script but whatever let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss the video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video